Hello world and welcome to today's motivation. I'm Tere. Stay tuned. So I wanted to continue our conversation on anxiety and as you can see I'm in the car. Um, I am on my way to go run an errand and I have several appointments this evening um, and I wouldn't be able to go home and record again. However, I received such a great response um, from Monday's uh, motivational post that I really felt it important that we continue that discussion on anxiety. And today I want to talk about how we can prevent anxiety from taking over. Stay tuned. What I've come to realize is that a lot of us deal with anxiety um, and unfortunately uh, we don't talk about it. We don't share what we are dealing with. Once again, let's go back to the scripture that we have been talking about over the past week, um, the past couple of weeks, and that is the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. If the enemy can come to steal your voice, to stop you from talking about what it is that you're dealing with, he can destroy your purpose and he will uh, kill your destiny. What we want to do is we want to stop him in his assignment, okay? The Bible tells us that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. How will I ever be able to encourage someone else if I don't share what I've gone through, if I don't share the things that I've dealt with? But here's the thing, a lot of us deal with anxiety and it comes in many different ways. Some of us um, label it as we're nervous. Others label it as, you know, we're stressed out. Whatever the case may be, it's anxiety. So the Bible tells us that we are to be anxious for nothing. We don't have to be nervous for anything. We don't have to be stressed out for anything. And why do we allow ourselves to accept it? Well. Number one, society says that it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be anxious. It's okay to, you know, be stressed out. It's normal. We're supposed to do that. We're, we're supposed to have those type of emotions and feelings. But God is telling us that we don't have to be in. We don't have to be any of those things. We don't have to be stressed out. We don't have to be nervous. We don't have to be on edge all the time because He's given us a way of escape. The Bible says that God has always given us a way of escape. Okay, so that any time that we encounter any type of situation, there. Is a way out of that there is a way out of that situation we just have to know how to take the Word of God and rightly apply it to our lives the Bible says to study to show yourself approved unto God a workman need not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth how do we rightly divide the word of truth we take the word and we, we we take it to the Lord in prayer and then God will instruct us how we are to apply those practical um, tools how, how we can take the word and practically uh, uh, apply it to our life, okay? So the Bible says with prayer and supplication, we are to make our requests known unto him. So if in the midst of me feeling anxious or nervous or stressed out about a situation, my first response should not be to pick up the phone and call my best friend and go into this big tangent about what I'm dealing with. That should not be my first recourse. My first response to any type of situation that is causing me any discomfort should be prayer. The Bible says with prayer and supplication, make our petition known unto him. I'm going to pray about it and I'm going to continue to pray about it. And I'm going to continue to pray about it. Is that biblical? Yes. The Bible says to pray without ceasing, okay? The Bible also says that I'm to boldly come before the throne of grace and make my petition known unto him. So let's look at this. But with prayer and supplication, make your request known unto the Lord. But boldly go before the throne of grace and make your petition known unto him, known unto the Father. So if I'm coming to him with prayer, I'm coming boldly. And when I'm coming boldly, I am making my request known. Father, my request Father, because your word says that I can come to you, I'm coming to you. And I'm coming to you boldly by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm requesting unto you, Father, that this nervousness be taken away from me. I don't have to sit in this emotion. I don't have to sit in this feeling. I don't have to sit in this fear. I don't have to sit in this frustration. 
anxiety comes and it is blanketed and and packaged in many different forms okay any frustration any hurt any um uncomfortability anything that's making you uncomfortable anything that is not resting well with you is a form of anxiety so we're going to call it what it is and we're not going to allow the enemy to try to keep us bound by any situation that is not of God God is a God of peace so if it's not peaceful it is of the enemy and we need to cast it down. The Bible says cast down every imagination that is contrary to the word of God. So any thought processes, any thought patterns, any um, um, conversations and interactions that are causing me to act out contrary to the word as a result of this uncomfortable feeling, as a result of this anxiety, I am to cast the hold of my care on the Lord because he cares for me and let him handle it. But here's the thing, we, our, our natural man tells us that we are supposed to handle it, that I have to fix it, that I have to do something. I We don't have it within ourselves to do. If it were that we were able to fix the situation, need God to do it, we would be able to correct it ourselves. But because we are humans, because we don't have the wherewithal to be able to handle this situation, we need to use the resources that God has given to us. He's given us the resource of prayer, of fasting, of confession. He has given us the tools that we need in order to be successful in defeating the enemy. The enemy is already defeated. However, we have to continue to remind him that he is defeated. And how do we remind him that he is defeated? By working the word. If we work the word, the word will work for us. So this morning, I encourage you today, Today, I encourage you to walk out in your authority. Walk out in the authority that's been granted unto you by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We need to talk about the things that the enemy wants to shut our mouths about. The Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. We silence the enemy when we make it a point to speak out against those things that are trying to come and to beat us down. But we have the victory. We have the victory through Jesus Christ. So today, I pray that you were blessed by this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, like and share. Leave me a comment down below. Let's start this conversation, okay? Let's keep this com conversation going. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me spread the word. When you get a chance, go over to TerraePeoples.com and click on the media tab to see additional motivations to help keep you encouraged. Thank you, family. Have an amazing day. And as always, God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.